Poppin' y'all, another day, another week. Welcome to another week in the life. Today we're gonna start off the vlog at the gym. Me and a homie right there, about to work out. He's got me working out legs today. Usually on Mondays, I would do chest, but I'm kinda gonna reverse this. He wants to do leg day, which is crazy because legs is actually the last workout that I ended with last week. So my legs are still sore, but we're gonna get it in. You know what I mean? I'm on a date, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> What's on mine? On the uh, waffles. Let me add some catfish. Okay, okay. Right now it's 3 p.m. and I'm just now starting the vlog. I had a whole bunch of other stuff to do and tackle this morning before I could actually like kind of get into like vlog format but it's another day another dollar it's tuesday today i'm about to go downstairs and work out i got this protein shake right now but i'm kind of hungry I have breakfast a little bit early and i've been trying to focus on this diet y'all need to hold me accountable i just feel like i have some fat that i need to like cut down i like the size i'm in but i want to be more lean so however way i'm a I can balance that. I'm gonna try my best to do that. So I'm trying to kind of reduce my meals in a way and just kind of like tone down a little bit and then slowly like build back up. Yeah, right now we got a protein shake. This is kind of like my second meal of the day. Thirty minute cardio. This was not the plan, but I feel mad good. Before, stay tuned for after. Yeah, this is the aftermath. This is why I came here. That glow, that shine. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. Ideally, if your gym has it, the head spa. Because it's putting your arms and hands in a position of you and restricts it. Just getting some inspiration for the gym, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just like to watch, learn. 
This has honestly been the only way like I've actually learned how to work out. Like my whole life, I've always like just watched videos. It was either videos of Simeon Panda. Mostly it was honestly just videos of Simeon Panda. That's all I ever really watched. And then I started to engage in other people's stuff. What's going on y'all? Back in biceps. Well, supposed to be back in biceps today, but I really just paid a lot of attention to biceps and then I replaced back with core. Cause core is one thing that I barely do and I really need to start doing it. I always had this theory that if my diet is right and I can tackle enough cardio, then my abs are just, it's already there. I just need to like shed. But really you still need to work on your core. Just make that, make sure that your core is strong. Cause whether you like it or not, your core actually, you know what I'm saying? Like it really matters. Like. You need your core for a lot of workouts, for strength, for real. You need core strength. But yeah, man, today is actually storming right now. There's like thunderstorms and everything outside. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the weather is kind of like, right now we're experiencing tropical storm Heleni, Heleni. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's coming all the way from Florida, but then it's attacking a little bit of Atlanta too. So everybody's kind of indoors. People are working from home and schools are shut down, but Atlanta is crazy. So for the next like two days, I know for the whole of tomorrow, like, everybody's gonna be indoor, including myself, like, so ain't nobody going nowhere. We got enough groceries, enough food, that'll last us till Saturday, so that's great. Plus, also, I don't have a booking tomorrow. Usually every Friday, because tomorrow's Friday, I always have, like, a booking for the weekend, but instead of booking on Friday, this person booked on Saturday, so that's kind of dope, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like I'm trapped in my damn mind. Tell the feeling like I'm rapping a damn lie. Tell the feeling like my life is a damn game. Nigga really wanna die. Morning! Right now we are about to go deliver Tesla, my Tesla Model Y right now, because somebody booked it for the weekend. But we're meeting up at the airport. He had a flight from Texas, so he lands at the Atlanta airport. So I really hate going to the airport. Like I really hate when somebody books the airport. But I really honestly need to like start charging more for like airport deliveries because crazy like it's always something in Atlanta it's always mad busy mad traffic should be crazy it's beautiful it's a beautiful day outside though especially since yesterday and the days before that was like hurricane and floods and stuff like that so you know what I'm saying but anyways I'm not gonna talk too much about to go deliver the car and uh, yeah man so this is the vibe right now I got Tati at the back She's trailing me right now at the back. You see that?
got a couple billion houses and some wish maybe three And I got family members that got bigger egos than me all right, y'all, so I just returned back home. I just thought to myself that a lot of people are probably wondering and curious how, you know, my tour business actually operates. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of insight of how it works. First and foremost, I'm gonna just throw it out there that I'm still kind of new on the platform. Currently, right now, I have two vehicles on my platform, which is a Tesla Model Y and a Nissan Rogue. I have my Tesla going for about 100 a day, and then I do have the option of prepaid EV charge which is between 25 to $30, which means that you could bring the Tesla on any percentage. It's essentially, if I bring the car to you full battery, you need to return it full battery unless I can then charge you. So let's say that's $25, so that's 125. And then airport fee. Right now, my airport fee is set to 50 or $60. Really, I need to increase that, but all these prices are more like my starting up price because as you guys know, I recently moved to the state of Atlanta, or the city of Atlanta, I mean. And when I was in Indiana, that's where I was previously operating my tour platform. And honestly, because there were literally like not too many of my kind of cars in Indiana, especially the Tesla, I was able to charge, I mean, I, I think I remember like my last rate was like 126 a day, and it was still getting booked because the competition was a little bit less, but, I wasn't able to really fully grasp the business behind the Tesla on Turo in Indiana because literally when I bought the car, maybe like a month or two later, we had moved to Georgia. So I wasn't really able to fully get the, the perception of how far and how high I can really scale. I will be honest that Turo does charge their own like fees. So yeah, I'm getting charged. Yeah, I'm charging that much. Let's say right now I'm charging hundred a day. But then because of my protection plan, they get to have take their own fee. So let's say it was 100 a day and $50 for extras, and then that was 150. I'd probably only be paid like 116. It really depends on your protection plan. You get to choose your protection plan. You can really offer to have no protection plan, but that way your car isn't covered if there are any damages. All right, so right now we're gonna take a look at my Tesla. This was a trip price of 120 a day. This was back in Indiana. He prepaid EV charge, $25. I offered him free delivery just because I was already close to the airport and I had just started my business at that time, so I was trying to attract clients. But just imagine if I had charged him a delivery fee of minimum $40. So I took home $202 after Turo's earnings. So you see Turo took their fees of $62.50 and then I was left with $202. But that was at $120 a day. And really, he only booked it for one day, although I did get paid for both the days. He booked it on Wednesday at 10.30 and his trip ended on Thursday at 6.30. But since he didn't return at 10.30 a.m., then he gets automatically charged an extra day. So really the car came back the next day, but I got paid for both days, which is lovely. Because honestly, you could still probably, depending on how late you rent your car for, somebody could still book it that same day for another day. And it's just like make great money but that's just a brief idea of how it goes so i do think that there's a lot of potential in it in the nearby future I feel like the more i grow as a host turo will appreciate that and kind of push my maybe push my vehicles out in a way but i think that if you guys continue to follow my journey i can be able to show you more and definitely take you through like a day in the life as a, a tour business owner. And that being said, we're gonna wrap up this vlog. Thanks for tuning into the week in the life. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ski.